to see what was written. You know how you said it had bled through. See what else was on there. That's a good idea. A letter to somebody else. That's a good idea. Remember when I was saying up here, it looked like there was text on another pa piece of paper that was on top of this one, and there was pressure applied in the the, the graphite the lead, whatever it is, went into their paper. So, yeah, that might even, that would help even more at, at this point. Did that help a little bit? Oh, yeah. A little bit? Okay. <laughs> it looks a little sharper, right? Like you can read it a little better. Okay. All right, y'all gonna throw tomatoes at me and ask for a refund, right? I hope not. Let's uh, take this one off. And I'm gonna do this carefully, because this thing, Oh my goodness. Here, let's pass this one around. Just kidding. <laughs> You'll say, oh, now it's in six pieces again. How'd you do that, Eric? You got the tape off. You know, on the inverse, I have put it up against a window. The sun was shining. Ah. Suddenly it will pop out and then take a copy with your camera. Nice. Nice. Did you hear that? So she, she was saying, just put it up on the window and that will help you. It's going to take some work, you know, but it's not magic. I'm sorry. I couldn't perform a miracle on this one. I'm sorry. So did, did we have another question? Would this technology help if you have a scan a document at Family History Center and you have it at home now and it's very, very tiny? Would that help at all? And the scan you made was very tiny? Is that it? From the well, it depends on the resolution of the scan. Okay. I'd have to see it. You know, if it was, oh, there you go. Why don't you pass that up? Pass that up, please. By the way, this is a document, uh, a death certificate, right? Anyone know how I could get this to be looking normal? Not black? Inverted. Inverted. Just like I did before, right? Good. I don't need to show you. You guys know. Good. Hey, you, you say it's easy, but you know, some people, they don't know. So I think it's good that most of you know. Okay, so you're saying here, your ancestors are what? You said one part? Is that all you want? The bottom, bottom three lines. Okay. The bottom entry in that comments column. Okay. Okay. All right. I think I got it the right side now. Let's try it. Yeah, this is an interesting document because uh, this is pretty much a black and white. Um, this is a zero. This is a copy. Yes. This is a photocopy. How do we deal with that? <coughs> Excuse me. So let's not, let's uh, let's not even mess with the rest of this uh, document. Let's just deal with the bottom part. Just, just for illustration purposes. Uh, if I scan it in RGB color, let's do that here. And this was a census? Uh, ship, ship manifest. Ah, ship manifest, great. With people. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Any questions? Y'all okay? Not yes. I saw that you were um, taking the paper out of the sleeve. The yeah. Sleeve. Yeah. Sorry. No, no. My question is: there's a lot of things that I that are old that I've left in the archival. Yeah. Is there any reason why you shouldn't just scan them in the sleeve? Why is there a reason why you shouldn't just scan it in the sleeve instead of take it out of the sleeve? Well, if the you could try, if the sleeve isn't scuffed or wrinkled, sometimes the sleeve because it's plastic will have these my, little in, indents in it that you no matter how hard you press, it's not going to flatten. So if it looks good, go for it. You know, and then the results are satisfactory, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Don't take it out if you don't have to. We are just out of time. I, I think I spent too much time on that newsprint. I hope you forgive me. We're going to have to have a part two. You were saying down here, maybe, yeah. right? Okay. Bottom, bottom okay. So I just zoomed in close. 
but unfortunately, it's not going to print that big. And as you see, it's starting to get jagged. So the way around that is, let me, I'm going to crop it more just because I'm going to increase the resolution that's going to slow down the scan time. And I don't want to slow down for teaching right now because we're running out of time. That's when I crank up that resolution over here. See where it says DPI? All right. I'd say 1,200 or 2,400. Watch this. And we'll scan it. Any questions? Any other questions? You know, I have, um, I have techniques for plain text, hybrid, and microfilm, and census records, I, I, but we're just not going to have time for that. But when you email me, I'll, I'll send you my handout, you know, and you'll at least have some tips there for that. Unfortunately, um, some of it you would need a demonstration on if you weren't familiar. On my table, I have uh, a tutorial for sale that deals with uh, documents um, pretty uh, heavily. So it might, you might find that helpful. Um, you're saving, <coughs> saying to save uh, documents and tip. Hmm. I have them saved in Photoshop. Okay? Oh, okay. You have it saved in Photoshop okay. format. That's perfectly fine. Uh, Photoshop format is uh, uh, the native format for Photoshop. Uh, and that's fine. And Photoshop Elements can open it as well. Uh, the only problem, though, the only problem is down the road, um, that format may become obsolete, especially if Adobe continues to act like it rules the world. Um, most <laughs> likely, there will become a giant that will fall. So um, who knows? There, a hundred years from now, the Photoshop format may be uh, impossible to read, like a floppy disk might be. But the TIFF will never change. Well, tip, in my opinion, TIFF is. Photoshop would disappear, change, or become incompatible faster than TIFF would. Because the whole digital world is, especially in design and publishing and graphic arts, is going to a, a non-proprietary system so that you can have layered TIFFs and unlayered TIFFs and whatnot. Um, OK, so here is, here is when I scanned it at 100% at 300 pixels per inch. You see how jagged those letters are? Here's how it is at 1,200. And when I zoom in, it still looks good. In fact, it looks like I'm sticking my eye right there. You know what I mean? So do you, does that help? Does that, is that, does that help answer your question? Or? But is it legible? Is it, does it make it legible? Does it make it legible? In my opinion, I would think that, I mean, do you think that <coughs> if I'm going to look at it close, does that make a difference to you? That's too close. It's like, it's like you're in the movie theater and say, Eric, sit back. You can't sit enjoy the film. Scroll to the bottom. I mean, that's legit. I can see Philadelphia right there. In the I see Philadelphia, yeah. That's not the line I want, though. OK. Well, but just go to the bottom. Let's go here. Yeah, the bottom few lines. Chicago. So let's go to the new one down here. Chicago, Illinois, right here? It's that. Yeah. So now, now what? Now tell me what else you want so we can try to find the solution. Is it what you're saying this is not legible? Well, Chicago, Illinois, I can make out. Hamilton, but the three lines above that. Stanislaw, that's the thing, Stanislaw. See, Who's you need Michael over here, not, not a computer. Yeah. Um, move to the, you know, no, no, the other way, other way, other way. <laughs> and that's the left. The other right. Yeah, yeah. So, so now what, what might help, let's do this then. Let's do this. Let's increase the contrast. OK, we'll increase the contrast with levels. Crank it out a little bit more before, after. That can help a little bit. You know, so, OK. <laughs> so look at this, look at this. Uh, you might need something a little more than a computer, maybe you know, someone who's familiar with certain handwriting and possibly other languages. But, this is in English. Okay. But, you never, but, but the whole thing is you can help it with, with Photoshop. 
Any other questions or problems that are burning in your mind? Because we're, we're just out of time now. And I, 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 Here's one. Yes. What do you use to clean the glass of your scanner? Uh, no, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty brutal. I, I don't spit in public. But um, no, it's, uh, I like to use uh, you know, Windex brand window cleaner, not dollar store cleaner that looks like Windex, and spray it on the cloth, preferably something that doesn't have a lot of lint on it, you know, a, a decent washcloth maybe, and spray that, or, or, or the kind of cloth that you can use on eyeglasses, and spray the cloth and then wipe the glass. If you are able to take the glass out, like if you have a higher end scanner which has two trays, you can actually pop the glass out and clean both sides. Because the, the plastic creates fumes, gas, which build up on the other side of the glass, which you can't get uh, unless you take it out. So um, that's kind of neat. You know, be careful. <laughs> Any other burning questions as we are now out of time? Yes, ma'am. Uh, just one question. The, the slide on the screen had a different website than the one that's in the book. Yes, yes. Which one is your Where's Waldo? No. <laughs> um, they're both the same. I'm, I'm, I'm migrating now to that new one, that photographics.pro. Okay. But a better reality.net will work just fine. It's the same people. Okay. Okay. It's the same me. Right. Um, it's just five-year process. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so w was this class okay? You learned yeah. something? Yeah. Okay. All right, good. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the conference, and thanks a lot for attending. Be nice on that evaluation, please. You know, honest, but be sweet. <laughs>